Hey guy, welcome back to the toilet. Danny kicked me out. It's so weird, I thought everything was going great. But then last week I came home from my racquetball tournament and I was in a good mood, because I'd gotten last place and I noticed Danny had packed up all my stuff, like in bags. And I looked at him and I said, Danny, why did you do that? Can you put it back? And he said, no, it's time for you to go home. And I said, I thought I was home. Anyway, long story short, he kicked me out and I'm back in Florida with my wife, so F's in the chat, I guess. Hey, let's talk about the internet. Remember like a thousand years ago when they invented the internet and everyone was like, this is awesome. The world has changed and nothing but good will come from this. And now people just use the internet to get really famous for doing dumb shit. Yeah, I remember that too. So you probably heard about this story by now. I saw a lot of people talking about it. It really took the internet by storm. Um, but I'm gonna talk about it as well because it made me really mad. This video went viral of a girl going to Walmart, opening up a tub of ice cream and licking the top of it. And here's the funny part. Then she puts it back in the freezer. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul, put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh. God, that's so funny. I love how funny that is. Now, right away, everybody turned on this woman and they were pretty pissed at her for doing this because it's gross and you shouldn't do this. The problem is when shitty people do shitty things online and they get negative attention for it, that's really all they wanted because negative attention is still attention. So it didn't end there. It became a trend. Uh-oh, what's she gonna do? Oh, she licked the ice cream. That's why it's funny because she licked it. There's a couple things about this that I love. Number one, it's so funny, but it's also smart. You see, because what these people are doing is a crime that would be very easy to get away with if they didn't film themselves doing it. As far as crimes go, this would actually be one of the easiest to get away with because no one would be able to tell that it happened if you didn't show it to them. So why would you do this? I know that's kind of a dumb question because obviously the point of this challenge isn't to lick the ice cream and put it back, it's to film yourself doing that so you can get a bunch of clout for it. A uh, bunch of well-deserved clout for all the hard work you're doing. But wait, there's more. This guy did it too. Girl. <laughs> That's so funny. I know I'm not technically like a fashion icon or anything like that, so maybe my opinion doesn't mean anything, but is he wearing baseball pants? Does he have a game tonight? <laughs> also, he like kind of fucked up the whole challenge. I guess he was in a hurry to get to his baseball game because he ran out so fast that he forgot to put the lid back on. Not that I want him to be successful at the challenge, I'm glad he failed, but isn't the point of this to make it look like the ice cream has not been touched or more specifically licked? I don't think anyone would buy that because the lid's off. They'd probably be like, why is the lid off? Did someone lick this? Don't worry though, I know you're probably pretty frustrated with these people, I am too. He responded to his own tweet with this video of a police officer at his door. Hold on, let me try to wrap my head around this. So you're saying if you film yourself doing a crime and then you put that video on the internet, the police can find you? And then they have evidence of you doing the crime? That's so weird that that's all it would take to get arrested is submitting your own evidence to the police. Speaking of the police, the girl from the first video apparently got arrested as well. The official charge is food tampering, uh, which is a felony in most US states and carries a maximum sentence of up to 20 years. If she gets sentenced to 20 years in prison for filming herself licking ice cream, I will wake up every day for the rest of my life laughing out loud. I will, be, I will laugh so loud that that's what's gonna wake me up every morning. When something like this has such a poetic ending, it feels pretty good. This is a very satisfying <laughs> resolution. It really sucks though that the damage was already done. When someone does something stupid and gets rewarded for it, people see that and then they do the same stupid thing. That's why other videos like this are going viral. Like this guy did one too. <laughs> And it's really funny because instead of ice cream, he did mouthwash. Girl, 
<laughs> he spit it and he put it back on the shelf. And that's really funny to me because I'm a little baby. I'm two years old and I got poop in my diaper and I'm laughing at this because it's funny. And I'm the target audience for a joke like this. Me, a two-year-old. The thing with these Listerine bottles is these are all sealed. To set up this shot, they must have gone over there and taken the seal off. So he could then select that specific one that they had already taken the seal off of and then put it back on the shelf when he was done, and it still doesn't have a seal, no one's gonna buy it, you failed at your own shitty prank, you moron. I understand that the feeling of clout can be very addicting, and sometimes the pursuit of it comes at the cost of being a decent human being, but what are you really getting out of this? Like with these ice cream liquors, and people like Boonk, and uh, plain potatoes who Eddie's made videos about. What is the goal? What tangible accomplishment do you have to show for yourself other than the most temporary clout that I would put an asterisk next to because it's not like it's not like you're being rewarded for something. There are numbers involved. There are a lot of people paying attention to you, but they're all mad at you. And then as soon as they're done being mad at you, which is gonna happen, people have already forgotten about this, then they move on. There's no sustainability with this type of clout. It's so temporary. It's so worthless. So yeah, you got like 10,000 people yelling at you on the internet, which is good, I guess. But then what happens? You get arrested. You get a million <laughs> followers on Instagram, but then your account gets deleted because you're a shitty person. So what do you have to show for it? other than just being an asshole. The crazy thing is though that these people's brains are so broken and dumb that even when they face consequences like getting arrested, they still think it was all worth it in the end. Just left the police station. Too much clout to pick. He's so cool. He's probably thinking that if he considers the clout he received to be worth spending the day at the police station, he probably got a lot of followers, right? Like 100,000 or 200,000 or Oh, 8,000? 8, 8,000 followers? That's what this is all about? <laughs> also, I'm still just concerned about this guy's baseball game that he clearly missed. You can't let your team down like that. Also, where'd you get those boots? Is one of Santa's elves going through a goth phase? What, did you raid the dumpster behind Hot Topic? I don't care that I'm not fashionable enough to make these jokes. Look, if you're ever on the internet and you see a dumb person doing a dumb thing but getting a lot of attention for it, don't feel tempted to also do that dumb thing so you can also maybe get a similar amount of attention. It's not worth it. Plus there's plenty of wholesome challenges going around that you can take part in. The bottle cap challenge is pretty cool. There's a cucumber challenge. I'm not sure what that is. I haven't looked it up yet, but if it involves vegetables, it's probably wholesome. All I'm saying is there's so much potential for more wholesome content and no one's making it. Which is why today I'm starting a brand new trend going to your local grocery store, buying all your groceries at full price and respecting the employees. Challenge. And don't forget your reusable bag. Yep, and now I just wait for the retweets to start pouring in. Oh, yeah, they're right. I forgot, it's way more fun to get mad at dumb people than it is to praise people for doing the bare minimum. That's my whole channel, is getting mad at dumb people. One last update on this situation. Um, it looks like the ice cream revolution has gotten so out of hand that stores are now having to lock their frozen dessert section because people won't stop licking ice cream. You know, it was bad enough that you guys committed a felony. But now, if I want to so much as buy some popsicles, I have to talk to someone? Congratulations, ice cream lickers. You just posted cringe. You're going to lose subscriber. <laughs> well, it looks like I've officially ended the video more angry than when I started. So mission accomplished. Let's hear a word from our sponsor. Hey, has this ever happened to you? You're trying to sell a really great product, but no one knows where they can buy it because you set up shop in the woods, and so your dad tells you you should build a website, but you don't know what that means, so you start hammering stuff together because you thought that's what building was, but then you hammer your finger real hard on accident and start crying so loud that your dad comes into your room and tells you you have to move out because you're 75 years old and so you're homeless now, all because you didn't know how to make a website 
website? Has ever happened? Well, then you gotta use Squarespace, you dummy. It's the easiest way to make a beautiful, functioning website in no time at all and without any coding experience. You don't even need a hammer. Just go to squarespace.com slash Drew, choose from a bunch of great templates to get started, and then it's all just drag and drop from there. You'll even get 10% off your first purchase when you use my link. Now when people want to buy your product, they don't have to try to figure out what woods you're in because you didn't know what address to give them, so they accidentally go to the wrong woods and get eaten by three bears. They can just go to your website on their home computer or cellular device. Now that's easy. And with this new awesome website, I bet your dad's gonna totally regret kicking you out. But don't take it from that guy, take it from me. I've used Squarespace a bunch of times for truegoodandshop.com, littlestinkerclub.com, tootfart.com, and every time it's been a breeze. Thanks, Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Please use my link. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry this one was a little shorter than what I usually post. It's been a very hectic month. <laughs> we did not expect to have to move when we did. If you wanna see more stuff from me, I did post a sketch last week about Facebook Marketplace. That's on my Twitter and Instagram. I also tweeted about Stranger Things and made a bunch of people really angry. So you should go see what that is and follow me. As always, the links to buy tour tickets and merch are in the description, if you feel so inclined. And when I get back from VidCon, I promise to figure out what to do with my background. Well, that's about it. I gotta go explain to my neighbors why they saw me walk into the woods wearing three different shirts. So, see you next time.